Hello, everybody. My name is Mary Egbert from Kamash Fiber Arts. And in case you forgot me, gosh, I don't think I've been out for like two <laughs> year, I think. <gasps> it's been crazy. I just wanted to come by and say hi. I clean my office and I have, oh, I found a bunch of wool, scoured wools and things like that. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to come on and show you guys some stuff before I put it away. <laughs> Before I put it away or sell it, I have so much stuff. Have you ever cleaned your fiber room and you found like gobs of fiber you forgot about? And it's been sitting there for what, three years, not scoured. Yeah, that's about it. Yep. Oh, this is my brother, um, Supercard Drum Carter. This thing is a beast. This thing is amazing. It has three separate drums to card. So that does really great. And it's winter. It's cold here. I had to put on my socks. And I'm in Florida near Cocoa Beach. It's really cold. Okay, let me show you some things that um, I found in the deep recesses of my fiber storage unit. And um, this was a border luster I found. I think it's backwards. I'll read it to you. It's a border luster from Sudan Farm in Canby, Oregon. This border luster loved, <laughs> loved to be in the dirt. This is really dirty. But um, this is what it looks like when it's when it was scoured. There you go. And I had to do what I call a pre-suent soak on this. Um, so what that means is you put it in a bowl of really hot water, the same temperature that you're going to scour for 15 minutes, no soap, and then put it in the scour pot. I don't know if you can see how, isn't that pretty? Look at the difference. Oh my gosh. So that's border luster. That's a really beautiful fiber. And I also have some really cool Corydell, which is a dark brown. And this is the raw. It has a little bit of vegetable matter in it, but not a ton. And then it's scoured up to this really pretty, really pretty beautiful brown. So that's really cool. I like one. All right, and let's see. Oh, this. I think this is, um, I don't know, some sort of lock. It's pretty long. Well, that's about how it's real dirty. Fiber arts. And this is, look at the difference. So if you have really long locks and you don't know how to scour them and get them clean, if they're not getting scour uh, clean and regular like a bowl or something like that, Take the hard to scour class at the Kamash School of Fiber Arts and you'll, you will learn how to do this. This is really, really awesome. Okay, let's see. I have some Merino. So this is some Merino. And then this one I just scoured regular. Just plain old in the bowl scoured, but this came up really white. Um, and as you know, um, Drum carding really fine fibers is really difficult on these sort of fibers and it sort of tears them up a little bit because they're so fine and delicate. So you're really better off combing, combing the merinos. All right, let's see what else do I have. I have some uh, Corydale. This is Rupert's Corydale, which is one of the finest Corydales in the land. <laughs> in the land, it's really nice, really nice. Corydale is a medium grade wool. Um, this scours up beautifully just in a pot of water. Uh, you don't need to pre suent soak it or anything. This is really beautiful stuff. And it's scoured into this. Look at the, look at the difference. Isn't that beautiful? Also, Corydale can go through pickers because it's a medium grade as long as it's not breaking. Um, it can also go in drum carters. This is a really versatile wool. And you can also comb this. Let me show you some yarn that I spun from this. So that's, gosh, it's like when I put it really close to the camera, it kind of washes it out. That's a regular two ply. And there is the little swatch. So if you ever ha have a chance to get any of Rupert's Corydale wool, go for it because his stuff is fantastic. All right, this is some Lester long wool. Let me show you what this is. This is the last one. I have a lot, but I just thought I'd show you a couple of things. So Lester Longwell is a coarse grade wool. 
and <clears throat> it doesn't have a lot of crimp. It just has that big old wave that I've talked about in the book and in my classes. It doesn't have very much crimp. This is really, these long wools seem to really like to get in the dirt and get really dirty. So they will take a little bit of extra care to scour them to be able to get them clean. Okay, this is what it looks like scoured. That's what it looked like scoured. And I may have done a pre-soak on this. I'm really not sure because I didn't, I didn't keep track of this one. And then there's the difference in the two. Okay, and I dyed it. So I'm going to show you some of the dyed. This dyes up really pretty. Isn't that neat? I love this one. This was just done in, in one pot. So it's all different colors. This dyes up beautifully. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's really beautiful. I also have a dye class at um, the Kamaj School of Fiber Arts. Um, I'm going to show you a swatch from this as well. And you'll learn how to dye in a pot. You'll learn to dye in a heating pan. You'll learn to dye wool and nylon and things like that. Okay, here's the yarn. And then here is the swatch. Because it doesn't have a lot of crimp, it probably doesn't, it does not have a lot of memory watch. When I pull it, there's no, this thing is like rope. It's really tough. So these sort of um, coarse grade wools are really good for warps for weaving because man, that, <laughs> that's going to hold. That's going to hold. All right. So let me put that away. I also have a year long. 12 modules, 224 lessons in, uh, the, again, the Kamash School of Fiber Arts. It is a year-long course on spinning. So if you're a beginner spinner, this course is excellent for you. Um, spinning, consistency and spinning yarn, plying correctly, angle of twist, uh, woolen, worsted, long draw, um, scouring, dyeing, all sorts of stuff. And if you have a small business, the very last module talks about marketing um, for no money, no money for free, really, um, for marketing your small business. And I'm also working on it. I'm hoping I get it out by February 1st. I, it's going to be, I'm going to squeak it under the wire, but we'll see. If not, it's going to be definitely the second week of February. I'm going to be doing a marketing course and how to market and tons of strategies through social media and an email list. And if you have a small business and you're not taking advantage of your email list, I'm telling you that is the lifeblood of your business. And I'm going to show you why I'm going to tell you everything that I've done in my business to grow and to sustain throughout the years. And I'm going to help you um, grow your business too. So, okay. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.